So, all right, here we go. Friday afternoon. Let's hope the prize goes today and make someone's weekend with a big, big cash prize. It's, it's a mystery of the nation's foremost mystery voice competition. Is anyone dangling on my mystery line today? <laughs> Hello? Hello! Hello, who's that there then? It's Mogwamp! It's Mogwamp? No, no, Mick Mark! Alright. Mick, yeah, I see Mick Meadows, the executive producer of your wonderful show, who rumour has it has come up to see you today to administer a morale boost. Oh, and good on him for that, you know. I can just imagine your conversation now. You and Raj sat there, all proud and stuff. And Mick saying, good on you, Raj. You're the best we've got. Only one thing. Will you give up plugging garage and dance music and try and stick some more Ramones in along the way? Teamwork, mate. That's what it's all about. Yes. Uh, do you work, Mick? Uh, no, no, I don't know, actually. I used to be a DJ on a local radio station as a disc jockey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, breakfast show I did. Well, I got the sack for saying the S word on air. Did you? Yeah, do you, you know... You should have got one of these. Well, you weren't invented in them days. No. Well, you know what the S word is, don't you? Yes. Yes, status quo. Terrible, what so? That's two words. I know, mm. I know. That's the S words, I suppose. But as a result, I haven't got a job mm. or indeed a pot to be in anymore. Oh, right. Stony broke. Sorry to oh, hear that. Grumble, you know. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Do you have any hobbies to pass the time, then? Yes, Mark, I have my hobbies. Um, I like to do a bit of origami, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, the old paper folding. I know what origami is. Yeah, but some of your listeners might be a bit thick. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. In fact, you know, I'm just in the middle of doing one now. Hang on. Yeah. We used to have an origami spot on this show, didn't we, really? Yeah. One, lasted one day, I think. Hey, good. What's starting me off? There you go. What do you think of that? Did you? Fred Durst. It's your paper. Fred Durst. It's fantastic, I tell you. I have no idea. You're on the phone. Take it with me. I love all you got me, Marble. If, be... if you held it up above the desk, I could probably see it. Oh. Good, isn't it? That's not folding, that's tearing. Is that not what it's all about? Anyway, go on. Anyway, you know, I mean, I love it, but it's a very expensive hobby. Is it? Yeah, paper isn't as cheap as it used to be, you know. Well, absolutely. So I hope I'm not being too cheeky, but do you think you could send me some of your old discarded newspapers to work with? I'd I'm really appreciate it. I'm sure we could do that, Adam. Oh, sure tell you we... what, what, I have another talent as well. Yes. I'm very good at impersonating people. Are you? Yeah, who's this? Who's that? Is it Nicholas Witchell? No, no, it's Sir Alex Ferguson. Oh, of course it you is. You it's good? Well, they've got the same hair. I always yeah, get them mixed up then. Yeah, understandable, right. yeah. yeah. Very good indeed, yeah, right. Uh, is that it? Yes. Okay, right, there's a, there's a prize today on this, you know? Yeah. Five pounds. Oh, it's Five a lot pounds. of cash. It is a lot of cash. How, how would you spend that if you were lucky enough to win? I would probably buy a spittoon for me Alex Ferguson impression. Good idea. Yes. Good idea. Is or, it West Borland? Is it who? West Borland. Oh, it's not her. No. no. Oh, Limp Biscuit. Yeah. No, it's not her. No, Good no. Guess. No, no, no. Uh, I can give you a clue, though. Yes. He is very famous. He. He's very famous. Okay, right. Uh, would you like a snatch? Yes, please. What have you been eating? What have you been eating? Mm. Is it Dr. Miriam Stoppard? Oh, it's not him. Oh, no, we it's, not, it's not him. No, no. no. Um, you guess. Bigger snatch? Please. Well, I started off as a child actor in the TV programme called Butterflies. But from there, I went from strength to strength and ended up as one of the nation's most loved personalities by playing the gormous, lanky streak of... Rodney the Plonker, aside Del Boy, David Jason, in Only Fools and Horses. Oh, and I do those daft adverts with W.H. Smiths as well. Ka-ching! Ka-ching, right. Ka He's got one of them, uh, machines. Yeah! Sort of one, yeah. Everybody's got them now, you know. Right, yeah. Uh, anyway, right, Butterflies, um, uh, W.H. Smiths had, uh, played Rodney the Plonker, <laughs> alongside Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses. Is there anything there which gives you a clue as to who it might be? Wrong a bit with a bit of a point, a gormless, lanky streak of yours. Mm. Is it Jamie Theakston? 
Oh, it's not her. No. No, it's not yeah. her. No. Do you mean Jamie thinks they're doing one big song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eating Batman's image. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, no, it's not her. No, it's not her. No, I'm afraid it's not. It was a good guess. I was guess. sure mm. we don't fucking buy then. Right, okay. Well, we're on for a bunch of them on Sunday, yeah, I should think. But, uh, right, okay. Uh, well, no, you've won nothing, I'm afraid. Tragic. Uh, but it's been nice talking. Well, it's not really. I've been no, lying, really. No, it's don't patronise me. It's been indifferent to you, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, would you like to know who it was before you go? Oh, yes, please. It was Nicholas Lindhurst. <laughs>